Good evening. This is take two. Holly and I, this is Holly, my wife, my beautiful bride, my mi esposa. We just made a video and it was awesome. We had great chemistry. We talked about a topic and I deleted it. He deleted it. I literally just deleted it. He got all finger happy. I did. So this is take two. Good evening. I'm Eddie, the Puerto Rican Piper. This is my bride, Holly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, I am chooching on a Savinelli 320 series three author. That was a birthday present from my beautiful bride. It is a great pipe. I love it. And I am smoking in it the Wessex Aromatic Blend. This is a Christmas blend that I picked up on pipesandtobacco.com, pipesandcigars.com. And uh, you wanted to smell it. I did. Yes. Yeah, I want, to, I want you to give me an impression of what it smells like. There's, there's definitely notes of chocolate, and, um, but it's spicy. And like I told you in the first video that you deleted, uh, that I thought it was star of anise. Which I have no idea what a star of anise is. But I'm not that, sure though, I could, I could be wrong. If that's um, what star of anise yeah. smells like. It smells great. I want to know what it tastes like. Yeah. Is it a spice or is it a fruit? Uh, no, it's a, it's a spice. So is it a spice like pepper or is it a spice like? I would, it's, um, it's really popular in the fall and in um, Christmas. Um, people sometimes um, use it, I think for ham but it has a really dis distinct smell. And so that's why I think that that's what it is. But there's definitely chocolate notes in here. Definitely. Yeah, there is a chocolate note. Um, about halfway through the pipe, it also gives me a piney taste. So it gives me the taste of uh, Christmas trees. I thought it was, I thought that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have a piney scent. Yeah. yeah. It smells good. Yeah. Also, we are Im imbibing on Kraken rum. And um, what is the juice called? It's uh, orange pineapple? It's pineapple mango from Dole. From Dole. Dole pineapple yeah. mango juice. It's, they go together great. And since I'm Puerto Rican, <laughs> I have to have my rum. Mm -hmm. so, it could be the dead of winter and I will, I will be drinking rum. Yeah. Or the dead of summer. Or the dead of summer. <laughs> and I will be rum. So the topic we wanted to cover tonight was Rudolph. But you know, we covered it. But we didn't cover it. That didn't happen. No, it totally happened. But we have to cover it again. Because you deleted it. I did. Okay. Can we do it again, please? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> She's wonderful. All right. So the issue was, in case you don't know, is that Rudolph is being panned now as, and, as homophobic. Homophobic? Yeah. Because of... Harvey? Herbie? Herbie. Is it Harvey know. or Herbie? I can't remember. I think it was Herbie. The dentist. I think it was I Herbie. want to be a dentist. Yeah. I think it was Herbie. Good deal. But I don't know. I just keep seeing these posts on Facebook about how it's offensive and it's homophobic and how they're saying that Rudolph was really gay and Herbie was gay. Rudolph was gay? Yeah. They're saying Rudolph was They're gay? saying Rudolph was gay when the whole time he had a crush on Clarice. Remember when he was saying, she thinks I'm cute. She thinks I'm cute. Yeah. And he flew. Yeah, and he flew, right. Which is subliminal for... Oh, what? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but He blew okay. his top. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. But then they they were saying that um, Herbie, Herbie was gay too because he looked so he looked apparently so so flamboyant. So he had feet. the huh? So feminine. So yeah, but basically that's what they were saying in this article form. that he was he looked feminine. He talked feminine. Which I thought was just really rude because just because guys 
have wavy hair and talk feminine. That doesn't make them, that doesn't automatically make them homosexual. I wish I had wavy hair. You do. It's just here. It's, just, it's not up here. It's just here. It's very wavy. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing it. I really like Rudolph. I think Rudolph is a great, is a great classic. It's an anti-bullying classic. Um, the only thing I didn't like about, about Rudolph is, is um, in the beginning, Santa was kind of a jerk. Santa was a dick. He was. He was. I, he, he really was. You know and, why he um, was a dick? He was skinny and he was starving, so he was in a bad mood. He was hangry. He was. He, he was, was hangry. Very, he was. That's what it because was. Because in the yep. in the end of the show, yep. when he was fat again, he was a lot he nicer. He was awesome. Yeah, he was a lot but nicer. But when he was skinny, he was a dick. It was kind of like you earlier today when we were on our way to Home Depot and you hadn't had anything to eat and you were grumpy and we had to go to Arby's first and then after we went to Arby's, all of a sudden you were just this happy guy. I was. I felt better. Yeah. yeah. I was hangry. You were hangry. <laughs> but also, um, going back to Rudolph, there is a thing about where it's anti-feminist, masochist. Because, because um, Rudolph's father didn't want his mother going out into the blizzard to help look for Rudolph because he wanted her to stay where it was safe. This is man's work. Which, well... I thought that it was him being considerate. He didn't want to drag her out. He wanted her to be safe. I didn't see. I don't see. I'm not offended by about that. Her safety. Yeah, I'm not offended by but that. But he could have rephrased it. He could have said, "No, I don't want you out there. It's dangerous." <laughs> Why are we doing this over a children's special? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I said, Holly, what do you want to talk about tonight? You said, let's talk about Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, but now that we're talking about it, I'm like, oh God, why are we talking about it? I don't want to be those people. I don't want to be those oh, people. Oh, we're being those people. I don't want to. <laughs> let's change it. Let's talk about Frosty the Snowman. What about Frosty the Snowman? Frosty the Snowman was, in my opinion, the best. The best. The one with Jimmy Durante singing? The original. Yeah. The, the original. With... Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. Jimmy Durante. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the best one. Why? Why was it the best one? Because I don't. It, I I'm not really sure. It was just really sweet and touching that all the kids like um, followed him around and you know, and he was just this this innocent little happy soul. I just, I liked it. I'm waiting for them to attack Frosty. Don't attack Frosty. Well, they've attacked. It's going to get real if you attack Frosty. They've attacked Rudolph. They've attacked Charlie <laughs> Brown Thanksgiving. Because oh it my racist. gosh. That's so ridiculous. Because <laughs> Franklin was sitting on, by himself on one side of the table. And okay, he was, uh, he was sitting by himself, but he was still sitting at the same table. It was, and also they failed to mention the fact that there were two people sitting on the ends, each end of the table by and themselves. And they were sitting alone they too. Were, they were sitting alone <laughs> as well. So, I just think that if you want to find, if you want to find something negative, you're you're gonna find something negative. If you're looking for something negative, if you're if you're looking for something negative, you can find it in anything. It doesn't mean that it's there. It just means that you were looking for it and you found something that you could manipulate into something negative. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was negative. People need more to do. The people just don't have enough to do. Why do you think that is? Well, you're a computer programmer, so I don't know if I should say Go it or ahead. not. But okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that um, technology is, has a lot of pros as long as well as having a lot of cons and i think that because of all of our advancements that uh, people just don't have enough to do you know i told you about my dad he was a tobacco farmer we didn't tell them no i didn't tell you my dad my dad uh his family uh they were tobacco farmers they worked in um prince george's county prince george's county maryland yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, they had a lot of work to do. There was farmland in Prince George's County. At there one point. was. At one point, <laughs> At one was. point, before it got all built up and, and congested. But um, they, uh, they worked, he said, from sunup to sundown. 
They didn't have a lot of food. If you wanted to eat, you had to get up and work. Um, you had to cut the tobacco. You had to chop firewood. There was just so much to do all the time. There wasn't a lot of downtime. So they didn't have time to overanalyze everything in the world and get offended by this and offended by that. They were too busy working so they could eat. We should bring your dad on here. We should sit your dad down and ask him questions. We totally and should. And record it for posterity. For Absolutely. Like, because those stories, yeah, they're going to be gone. There's a whole generation. Th there's of a whole generation of with people. With so many different stories and experiences. Who, and Who can really shed a lot of light on some of the ridiculous things going on now. Because that's... That was the working generation. That was the, that was the generation that went through the, the depression. Um, you know, the uh, Pearl Harbor. Um, you know, World, World War II, Vietnam. I mean, they, they, that generation saw a lot. And um, I think that they could definitely uh, shed a light on um, today and all the things that people, you know, get their panties in a bunch over. Pearl clutching. Pearl clutching. They clutch their pearls. Yeah. Oh. You know, I mean, they went through real hardship. They saw real, you know, um, situations that would be offensive. <laughs> instead of a cartoon, instead of a children's classic <laughs> that, you know, they want to pick apart today. I mean, they went through segregation. I mean, you talk about watching something, something unfortunate, you know, but no, today we have it so good, we get to pick apart cartoons and talk about how offensive they are. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a waste of time. It is. I think it we is. agree on that. We totally agree on that. So I don't have a lot of time left on my sucky phone. Before we go, I wanted to ask you about your, your, we, your shirt. Yes, because um, it's my shirt. It says Proud Navy Mom, and because uh, our daughter is an E-4 yeoman and the United States Navy. Are we and allowed to say where she, what she's stationed, what ship she's stationed on? Um, we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to. Oh. I don't really want to, oh. just because there's going to be someone out there who's going to try and pick that apart, too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's just let's just not make it an issue. Yeah, but um, but we're really proud of her, and um, we're definitely a pro Navy family. Yeah. And by we have default, we by have default, to be. yeah. Well, we have to be. But <laughs> but we have we have two other kids that we're really proud of too. We just don't have a lot of time to talk about them. <laughs> no, not in this. Not in this. No. Show. I mean, unless you want to delete this one and start over again. I'm not going to go to the end of this. <laughs> no. Well, watch. This one's going to end up being better than the first one. I don't know. I kind of like the first one. You know, we'll never see it again. So, you know, just have our memories. <laughs> well, I think that wraps up this segment mm -hmm. of, I haven't figured out a name for this yet, but I had such a good time with you. Why don't we call on it? On both takes. On both takes. What would you want? What would you like to call it? I haven't figured out what to call this. That's what you want to call it? Yeah, let's call it I haven't figured out what to call this. <laughs> it's a little long. Yeah. It's a little long. We'll find something else. Yeah. We could just use the, uh, the, the letters. The letters? I H. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, fine. But anyway. Anyway. You guys have a good night. Good until night. I or both of us see you again. Same bat time, same bat channel. Vamos. Chuchar. What he said. <laughs>